Hi, again I want to play around with the solid state relays and today I want to start a project to build a kind of smart LED. So the LED can steer from your mobile device or another sensor or whatever. So today I just focus on the hardware part and only the test software for the ESP32 and check your solid state relay if it's compatible with your current. In my case I use alternate current because I want to switch the mains and so just be sure your SSR is labeled with AC. And while working on the mains Please be sure you know what you're doing and cause this can be very dangerous and even causes your death if you touches the mains maybe. And I use a GPIO port from the ESP32 and to switch the solid state relay on we can switch the GPIO high to steer it or we can use the low side switch and switch the ESP32 to low to switch the solid state relay on. And for me both kind of wiring works so you can use whatever you like. And while everything is unplugged, I connect the earth to the LED, but in my case, the vendor don't connect the internal earth, so it's maybe very useless. Then I connect the neutral wire and the live wire from the LED I connect to the solid state relay and then from the solid state relay to the live wire to the plug. And this is also the wiring if we use the low side switch for the ESP32 GPIO ports. And I have a strange behavior with my LED so I look up in the data sheet and found there is something like the leakage current and the leakage current can be for my solid state relay up to 3 milliampere. So this explains why my LED is still sometimes on even if we have no connection to the switching part of the solid state relay. And the solution in my case is to prevent this strange behavior to use a dummy resistor parallel to the load or in my case the LED. And I built my own dummy resistor with a value of about 100 kilo ohms. And I need a power rating of about 1 watt. So I use 4 quarter watt resistors in parallel with a value of about 400 kilo ohms. And now before we plug in the mains voltage, we first disconnect our ESP32. So just to measure that we are really getting mains voltage to our solid state relay. And I switch my multimeter to the AC voltage and for your multimeter make sure that it's able to measure mains voltage. In my case we get no true RMS value but it's okay to indicate there is the mains voltage. So for me in my country I now getting a value of about 217 volts or it's in the value range of 220 volts. So now let's connect our ESP32 to the solid state relay input and we see that our LED lit up. And before we start, let's press the reset button so I can explain the small sequence that I've tested. I tested a fast blinking of 200 milliseconds and then different pulses of half, one, two and five seconds. And now let's measure the DC voltage. So I connect my multimeter in the DC range and let's measure the GPIO output voltage. And we see that it's switching between zero and roundabout three volts. 
And as you maybe see, I connected the ESP32 to a Lifepo battery, so I have no connection to my computer and there's no chance to destroy my computer accidentally. And we can see that the indicator LED of the solid state relay lit up every time the GPIO pin switches on. Or in this case, I use the low side switch, so the GPIO pin switches to zero and the solid state relay gets than the three volts. So I plugged off the mains voltage so I don't accidentally touch it. And now I show you the reason why I use the dummy resistor. So I disconnect the dummy resistor from the circuit and you see what's going on with my 10 watt mains voltage LED. So let's screw on only the wire from the LED and not the resistor. And then we can see what's going on without any GPIO pin steering with the 10 watt LED. And before we plug in the mains voltage, I first make sure that we disconnect the ESP32 so you can see the behavior without any switching of the switching side of the solid state relay. And my explanation for this is the 3 milliampere leakage current. The leakage current maybe charges the internal capacitors of the switch mode power supply of the LED. And then if there's enough charge, then the LED pulses for a few seconds and the capacitors are discharged and then the game starts over and over again. So let's put our dummy resistor back into the circuit in parallel to our 10 watt LED. And we make also sure there's nothing connected into the input of our solid state relay. So let's plug it back to the mains voltage and we see that the issue is gone. So no more flashing while our solid state relay is off. And now carefully, because this is live in mains voltage, so we carefully connect back together our ESP32 and let's see the circuit is working again. And for completeness, I also switch my multimeter back to the AC range. And then just for completeness, let's measure the voltage direct between the LED. And we see that the voltage is switching between 0 and 220 volt, so round about 220 volts. And let's measure the main side and we have a steady 220 volt on the main side. And again, Analog Lamp sponsors two giveaways, so just check the description. And now before I show you the code, I switch my preference settings for my editor and I switch to the dark theme. So and changes the font size. So on mobile device, we can see our code a little bit better. So I just define my output pin and how to switch the solid state on or off if we use the low side or the high side switching. And I configure my output pin as an output and on high side I configure a pull down and on the low side I configure a pull up. And this is the endless loop. I just have five pulses of 500 milliseconds, five pulses of one seconds, two seconds and five seconds. And that's it. I hope you find this interesting and maybe learn something or just enjoy the video. So please support me and give me a thumbs up for my video. And thanks for watching today. I wish you a nice day and bye bye.